Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got a Scentsy haul to share with you guys. This was from the festive Friday sale a couple of weeks ago. I missed the first two because I was gone to Korea for work and with the time change and everything, it would have been like 3 a.m for the sale and so I missed both of those and I was so sad because I know the second one they brought back breakfast in bed and they brought back Stroop Waffle Delight which are two of my absolute favorites from Scentsy. I was not a consultant and didn't even know about Scentsy when those scents were offered the first time but I just got them through D-Stashes and friends gifted them to me in random acts of kindness so I've been very fortunate but those two scents like they were offered in bundles and I was so bummed that I missed it because I would have gotten like a ton but I can always shop the D-Stash groups it's fine I have plenty of wax we all know this nobody's hurting for wax over here so anyway I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up in the third festive Friday sale, which I want to say was the week before Black Friday, possibly. You guys, I don't even know. I feel like November has just completely flown by. It's like two days until December. Today's the 29th. And I am kind of freaking out because I feel like I don't have any Christmas presents bought or wrapped. I started putting up my Christmas tree today, which is really late. I usually do it the weekend before Thanksgiving because we're always gone for an entire week for the holiday. So I like to get it done before so we can come home and our tree and all of our decorations are up. But I just couldn't do it this year, you guys. So um, hopefully I can get that up today before December and then get going on finishing up Christmas and wrapping all the gifts. But anyway, I digress. So if you want to see what I picked up in the Festive Friday sale from Scentsy, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just keep on watching. <music> All right, you guys. So for this Festive Friday sale, they offered a lot of different things. They offered a mystery wax melt bundle, which I think was like 10 cents that were mystery. And I want to say it was really cheap for like 20 bucks or something. I'll put the price on the screen here. It was a really good deal. And then they offered six bar bundles that were not mysteries. You could pick from a certain number of cents. Most of them were retired. I think all of them are retired. And so they aren't offered and you could choose like build your own bundle that way. I think you could get six bars for $30. I can't remember, but I will put that on the screen as well. So let me share with you. I got two of the build your own type of bundle and then I got one mystery bundle and then I got one bar that I've been wanting to try since I was placing an order, just went ahead and grabbed it. All right, so the first bundle, I love the Catching Z's collection. And again, I've been fortunate with Random Acts of Kindness or finding them on the D-Stash group on Facebook with getting scents from the Catching Z's collection. And they brought two of them back. And the first one is Lights Out. So I got three of these. And if you see me looking down, I have my phone here with the scent notes. So it says, Night Falls Gently Over Relaxing Sandalwood, Sweet Vanilla, and Warm Amber. I've learned not to listen to Scentsy's notes because sometimes they sound like not up my alley, but nine times out of 10, I'm going to like it. And see, this has sandalwood, sweet vanilla, and warm amber, which I do like all of those scent notes. This is so good. I think I have like 10 of these bars that I've gotten from D-Stashes, and I know Maggie sent me a few. This is so good. It's like warm, creamy. The sweet vanilla, though, it's like warm and rich and sweet. That little hint of sweet, but still creamy. So good. It says lights out, so like a bedtime blend, but honestly, I would warm this anytime, and it smells delicious, so I got three more of those. The next three bars in my bundle are also from the Catching Z's collection. This is called Shut Eye, so I got three of these. I don't have as many of this one because the notes kind of scared me, but this is Fuzzy Peach, Jasmine, and a Touch of Cedar Harmonize on a Fragrant Lullaby. So I don't like peach, and I don't like floral. I don't mind cedar, but again, you would think that I would hate this based on the notes. And it's just really, really pretty. It's again, it's a little bit floral from the jasmine. 
I feel like jasmine is not obnoxiously floral though. It's just one of those like milder ones. The peach, it's, it sweetens it a little bit. It doesn't necessarily scream like fruity peach, but it's sweeter and fruity a little bit. And then what's the other note? Cedar. I don't really get a whole ton of cedar, but it probably gives it a little bit more of an earthy vibe. But again, this is just a smooth, creamy, really, really pretty blend. Honestly, would also warm this, like, not just night, any time of year, any time of day, night, whatever. So, really thrilled that they brought those back for the sale and really thrilled to have picked up some more of those. Next up, I got another six bar bundle and a little different one. So, I only got multiples of one. The first scent I grabbed is called Slay All Day, and I don't think I've ever tried this one before. The notes say, snow-kissed mint and juniper keep their cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air. I don't know if I really read the scent notes because I was scared things were going to sell out really quickly and I was trying to just check out as fast as possible, kind of leaning towards stuff that sounded good to me. Um, and Slay All Day, I just assumed it was like a fresh Christmas tree scent. And it is. It's like mint and tree. And then like fresh air. So it's a fresh tree scent. The mint kind of brightens it up a little bit. This is snow kissed mint. It smells kind of like buttermint to me. It's like a lighter mint. It's not a peppermint or a spearmint. And then the cool, what does it say? Crisp mountain air. Kind of gives it a fresh vibe. So I think this is really pretty. I'm so glad to have picked that up slay all day next i grabbed white sands and the only reason i grabbed this is because dazzling scents with chris chris talks about this scent all the time and how she loves it i think she has it in our club and so i remembered seeing her talk about it and so i was like chris likes it i'm gonna pick it up i'm gonna try it so the notes say night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze hmm interesting so yeah, again, jasmine is not the most obnoxious floral, so it's one of the ones I can actually warm. I do smell the jasmine. It smells like, this is going to sound so weird, and honestly, I've never seen anybody else review this except for Chris, and she loves it, so I don't really know where I would have gotten this, but to me, this smells like root beer. Could be my nose because I'm a little stuffy. But it smells like cream soda. It's really sweet. Maybe the coconut milk. But I'm getting like root beer vibes. And I love root beer, but I don't know that I love root beer and wax. So don't know if it's just a combination. I definitely get the night blooming jasmine. And then I'm assuming the coconut milk is giving it a little bit of sweetness, creaminess. It's very mellow. But I definitely smell root beer. At first, I was thinking cream soda, but I think it's definitely more root beer, which is so strange. So I'm going to warm this and try it, and if I don't like it, I'll just send it to Chris because I know she loves it. Next, I grabbed two Glacier Waters, and I don't know that I've tried this one before either. I might have picked up one in a D-Stash, but I know I've seen Natalie from Jersey Shore Living talk about this one, and so... um. I know I was like, if Natalie likes it, I'll probably like it too. have no idea what the notes are, but I'm assuming it's fresh based on the name of it. So the notes say, Glacier water rushes into a mountain stream, peacefully flowing over bright bergamot, aquatic lavender, and driftwood. Sounds beautiful. Yeah, this is a fresh, you get that driftwood, so it gives it more of like an earthy, woody vibe. The bergamot, I do smell a little bit of citrus. Aquatic lavender. I don't know what aquatic lavender is, but I don't really get a whole ton of lavender. But this smells very good. It's like very, it's fresh and perfect for a bedroom bathroom. So that again is Glacier Water. Really glad to try that one. And then next up is kind of a wild card. This is Sweet Amber and Freesia. I really like Amber. And honestly, I really like Freesia. I remember back in the day when Bath & Body Works had Freesia. 
and I really liked it. It's another one of those like milder florals that I really like. It's just a really nice smelling floral. And so I thought I would give this one a go. This says crisp layers of verbena blossom, freesia, and sweet amber. So let's see what this one smells like. Is verbena like herbally? It kind of is leaning. I know I've smelled like coconut lime verbena from Bath and Body Works. So I think it's like a little more herbal. Is it almost like a lemon? It's like a brighter, to me, it's a little bit citrus herbal smelling. But I do get that. I do get the freesia. Very light though. This isn't bad. I guess a little bit of the sweet amber. This is pretty light though. Uh, I'll probably save this and warm it in like the springtime, even though I'm not a seasonal melter. It's just giving me like spring bedroom bathroom vibes. It's very light, but I'll definitely try it. That is sweet amber and freesia. And then the last scent I grabbed in my second bundle is called vanilla suede. And I don't know that I've ever tried this one either, but I really like like vanilla waves I've tried and I really liked it. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody talk about vanilla suede. I probably have, but I just grabbed it because it sounded good. So the notes say classic comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a cozy and subtly masculine fragrance. Hmm, I'm intrigued. Vanilla suede. I love this. It does lean a little bit masculine, but I was really scared it was going to be like super cologne -y. I think it's the sandalwood and amber and a little bit of spice, I guess, but this smells incredible. I'm really bummed I didn't get more of this. I will be on the lookout for this in D-Stash groups. This is so good. I think it's that spice with the sandalwood that's leaning a little masculine to me, but in the best way. Steph from Steph the Scented Gemini, if you're watching this, have you smelled this one? Because I know you like more masculine scents and I feel like you would love this one. Interested to see what your thoughts are. This smells so familiar, like it smells like something to me. Really can't put my finger on what it is, but y'all, this is good. I really want to warm this like now. That is vanilla suede. And then I just picked up this single bar of Meant to be Merry. I want to say this is the scent of the month this month in November. Um, and everyone's talking about like how much they love it, even though they aren't a mint person, they still love it. So I just wanted to pick it up because it's getting a lot of hype. It says, Merry Mint fills the air when crushed candy cane and sparkling sugar brighten a creamy butter cookie. Mint green is one of my favorite colors, and I think that is so pretty. And then the bar is actually like a creamy color, really pretty. Oh, wow. This is so good. You really get that buttery cookie. It's sweet. It's bakery. Mm. The mint is very light, too. I feel like this, too, is like a butter mint, which I feel like is more of a bakery mint. This is gorgeous. I can see why people who don't like mint or like harsh mint scents would like this one. I cannot wait to warm that. I was really surprised because you can get that cookie note so well. That's really good. So yeah, really stoked to have picked up that and I may pick up another one while they're on sale this month. That is meant to be merry. And then let me share what I got in this mystery bundle. I didn't look up the scent notes of these because I was not really wanting to look in the bag. I kind of just wanted to go in blind and see what I got. And so we can figure out these notes together. Or I can tell you if I like the scent or not. But there are 10 bars here. And I want to say it was $20. Again, if I can remember, hopefully future summer will put the price of the mystery bundle on the screen here. All right. First up, we have Desert Tropics. Never heard of this bar. Really pretty coral color. Ooh, it's very tropical fruity. 
is this like papaya passion fruit mango it's giving me those kind of like super fruity tropical summery vibes it's pretty um but y'all know i'm not the biggest fan of mango papaya tropical fruity vibes however i'm trying to get into them i feel like this will be perfect for summer i don't hate it but um you know if somebody wants it i may gift it to a friend but it's not terrible for you know for me not to like those kind of scents next up is coral waters i've never tried this one or heard of it either but that is not surprising y'all know i'm a scentsy newbie so i haven't heard of most of their blends this smells like a citrusy aquatic scent to my nose it's really bright it's like maybe salty sea air ocean air it's aquatic and maybe like a bergamot or some sort of like a brighter citrus it's really pretty though i don't mind it i was expecting it to be kind of based on the color of it i thought it was going to be really fruity but it's not it's really pretty next is peachy and palm trees probably not going to like this if it's heavy on the peach yeah oh my gosh that is really fruity it's very it's too fruity and whatever the fruit is i'm assuming it's peach not a fan of peachy and palm trees so we'll definitely be de-stashing that one but again i'm not mad about this it's like the chance you take when you go in for a mystery bundle you're not gonna like everything and if you go in with that mentality that like hey if i at least get 50 percent of scents that I like, I'm doing well, and I totally, you know, am fine with not liking every single scent. It was such a killer deal, and I love mystery boxes. I think they're a lot of fun. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know how surprised you may be when you end up liking something you didn't think that you would like. So, next up is Paradise Petals. These are all really like summery scents. Hmm, this one's really light. So this one's like a fruity floral to me. It's very light though. It's a mild scent. It's very floral though. It's like, is it hibiscus or something like a tropical flower? It doesn't smell bad. I may warm that and see how I like it. Some like super fruity floral scents give me a headache, but that doesn't smell terrible. Next up in the mystery bundle is Sunburst Bamboo. Never smelled this one either. No one is surprised. Let's see. This is very bamboo. This is very fresh and green. It's really pretty. This would be really good for a bathroom. Yeah, I don't mind this. What is this? Sunburst bamboo. Again, it's not like super strong. It's more of a milder scent, but it smells really nice and fresh. Next up is Pink Sugarberry Mint. I think that April from April Lee Wax Queen talked about this one recently, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm kind of scared of the mint note, but we'll see. Oh, it's really fun. I don't really get a whole ton of mint at all. This is just like a really sweet fruity scent. It's pretty good though. Not super duper fruity. It's lighter in a good way. Yeah, that's really fun. So I can see why she likes this one. It's very light on the mint, if at all. I don't even think I can detect it in there, but I am not mad about that. Next up is Sweet Orange and Evergreen. I know a lot of people love orange with tree scents. So let's see. Yeah, it's really pretty. The evergreen note obviously is the strongest. And I feel like I do get orange, but it's not like, I feel like if you wouldn't have told me there was orange or citrus in here, I probably wouldn't have known. I would just have assumed it was a tree scent. But this is really good. Really pretty. I like it a lot. That is sweet orange and evergreen. Three more. So next up is Gone Camping. I've never heard of this one either. 
wonder if this is going to be like outdoorsy or if it's going to be more of like smoke like a campfire. I'm getting very like campfire vibes. Smoky, woodsy. Yeah, I'm basically just getting a campfire. Really pretty, but again, this is really light. It's not like a super strong smoky smell. It's kind of a more subdued smoke. That again is gone camping. Next, I wanted to grab this one. I think I wanted to grab this one. I can't remember when I saw it. But um, Candy Crave, I was going to grab it. And then by the time I checked out, it had sold out. Don't remember if it was a sale, the Freaky Friday sales, like back in October maybe. Not sure, but glad that that was included in this bundle. And this is just like a creamy, a little bit sweet. Maybe fruity a little bit, but it's more of like a creamy. It smells very creamy, like almost like a cashmere vibe with a little bit of fruit. And almost like fruity fresh. It smells pretty good. Really glad to have that. Love that color. And then the last one here I'm so excited is Stroop Waffle Delight. And I am so pumped. I think Susan sent me one of these and in a random act of kindness and i'm so excited to have another one because i really loved it it smells so good my husband used to travel to the netherlands for work and he would always bring me back stroop waffles and i love them and it smells just like that it's very this smells like brown sugar it's really sweet it's so good y'all really bummed i missed out on that bundle of these but i'm so glad that i got another one in this mystery bundle I'm calling this bundle a win, you guys. I really liked, I think I only disliked two of them and um, two out of 10. So 80% that I liked, which is great. So that's everything for this haul. Please let me know if you picked up anything in any of the Festive Friday sales and let me know what you grabbed down below. I am so happy with the sale that I got to order from. I really love all the scents that I got and I love Meant to be Merry. I love the plethora of scents I got in this mystery bag. Of course, peachy and palm trees, not my favorite, but that's the only one that I really like, disliked really strongly. I feel like Desert Tropics was not a hate, um, definitely not a love, but I didn't really mind it or whatever. So I'm really happy with everything that I got. I hope since he still continues to do this, hopefully they'll bring these bundles back or mystery bundles back soon because it was so much fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.